The ocean feels extra vast when you're trying to cast poppers at tuna. But when the plan comes together and your lure is in the zone. Oh, nice cast, Chris. Nice and easy. Ah! 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 <laughs> that was so sick. There's nothing more capable of delivering such an adrenaline rush that you can't help but come completely unglued. On this trip, I'm out with Chris Megan and Jimmy Fee, chasing down reports of surface feeding yellowfin at the midshore tuna grounds known as the dump. It's early September and a band of warm water has brought yellowfin tuna from the canyons into easy day trip range. Just got out here, we got three guys that are gonna be popping along the surface, been a great yellowfin bite. And, and uh, some of the indications we have right now is there's a weather buoy that's probably about 250 yards off to our port side here that's just been, this whole area's been holding life. And the difference what we're doing right now though is that you're not seeing the whales, you're not seeing the birds, you're not seeing that. So as one of the guys said, the, the uh, structure is your plug that's moving along the surface and getting them fired up. Yeah, so like understanding that these fish might be coming from like 50 feet down to eat this thing helps you kind of realize like the pause, how important the pause is. You, know, you almost work pencil poppers for stripers faster than you work poppers for yellowfin. So you always like that first light. And uh, we got here right before the sun came up. You almost want to be here about half an hour earlier. Some marks right below the boat. I've been seeing those, man. I wonder if they're mahi. I think I saw birds wheel around it there. I saw some flashes of white. Could have just been the birds, but they keep going over that same area. There we go, right ahead. About one o'clock, like 300 yards. Pretty good feed. The pent up excitement of a tuna trip will deceive your eyes early on. Everything you see, you hope are feeding tuna, such as these dolphin Jim's pointing to. But once you actually see the right species, there's no mistaking it. We good? Yeah, right, right where my rod's pointing. I just saw, they're still going, they're still going. Where? It's directly in front of us, in the sun. They were just absolutely just surfing, yellowfin. Oh, there we go, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, tight, 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 tight. <laughs> saw one, and that just got us looking in the right direction. It was like two or three pops into that feed, paused it, and I was looking away, and all of a sudden I just heard the slash. There he is. There he is. Beautiful yellowfin tuna, man. You can see those nice hey, big Hey, when we pull up on them, when we see something, you gotta say 300 yards. There, Chris, right there. Oh, 25 yards. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chris, just put the, just get it out there. Oh, you Oh, dude, dude, we're, all, we're about to double up here. Get that thing, pop it and pause, a big pop and pause. There we go. The end game is often chaotic, and it's my favorite part of the fight. Tuna are unpredictable, and things happen fast. It's super rewarding when all goes well. And when it goes bad, well, unfortunately, we've all had battles end with lost fish that leave a knot in your gut. That was a nice fish, Jimmy. It was a good one, man. That's pretty, what, you, what we've been hearing about out here are these uh, 40, you know, 40, 50 pound yellowfin that was right in that class. Easily. Should we keep moving this way? Uh, I, I, I guess we could Yeah, putt around and look in this area. I wouldn't go super fast until we see them on top. Oh man, I'm, uh, what a thrill. What a th I, I love how tuna fish, <laughs> fishing goes from zero to a hundred. Man, we, we were cruising, weren't seeing anything, not sure if we were gonna see anything. Spotted some fish, got a cast off, two pops, and bam. We counted against the total fish we'd planned to keep and go back on the hunt. So 
so we're throwing popping rods at them. And these di differ from uh, jigging rods we were using earlier in the season when there was a little bit more of a you know, vertical jig bite, the fish were hanging close to the bottom. This is about a seven and a half foot rod, the extra length for casting distance and for picking up that slack to sweep either a stick bait or a popper. This one's made by Jigging World, it's aluminous. And the reels we're using, same type of reel you would use for, for jigging for tuna. This is the Daiwa Surtate 14,000, and what that does, it picks up a lot of line quickly. I'm seeing fish on the surface, uh, 200 yards that way, slashing, dead at like uh, three o'clock. All right, thank you so and these, teach. These reels, all, oh, as, we, uh, as we go, they pick up a lot of line fast. They've got really strong drags, plenty of line capacity, so at a real comfortable fighting grip right there, knob that's gonna help you, you know, when you're stuck like this for a little bit, keep that hand from cramping. Yep, Chris, about one o'clock, 100 yards. Yep, there they go. Not big breaks, just little slashes. You gotta really keep your eye out to look for them. I think they're on very small bait based on some of the reports we were hearing. These fish are eating tiny juvenile hake. So you're really just seeing a little bit of white water out there and hoping you can get to them in time to get a cast on them. There they go, this is probably good. We saw them break in here, make a few casts in this area. They're so, yeah, they're going pretty good. I would I go 100 yards that way. I see him. Sneaky boat. Sneaky boat. Oh, they're over here too. They just blew up 200 yards to the port side. I think we just got it. We got to keep popping. They're all through keep here. We got to sneak up on them. Give me about 20 more yards. They're still. They're right under those birds. Directly ahead. The sheer water. They're, they're pushing. Moving. They're pushing this way. They're moving right to left. Yep. They're gonna, we're gonna intercept them, it's yep. gonna be perfect. It's yep. gonna be perfect. Be absolutely perfect. That's good, that's good, that's good. Out of gear, I'm just gonna slide in on them. I'm out of gear. Oh, geez, right in front. I know, I saw that. We cast over their heads by like 40 feet. We spend the morning in a game of cat and mouse with the tuna, seeing a few breaks and getting a cast or two into them, but no more bites. Just as frustration is peaking, we hear chatter over the radio about more sustained action to our north. We go but a few hundred yards and find exactly what we came for. Good here? Yeah. Oh, there they are, right right there. Right up the bow, another 150 100 yards. yards. Birds are all looking at them. Yeah, they're still there. Out of here. Oh, right behind us. Uh, almost uh, within range. Saw one porpoise right there, right off the back corner. Yeah, they're really going. They're coming this way. This fish right there, right there. How far? Uh, at 90 yards, 80 yards. I think we're, we're drifting towards it, right? Yeah. See him? Still out there, Cheech? Yeah. They're, they're in range, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh. Is that on somebody? That's gotta be you. Uh, it is on it me. It is on you, baby. Oh, that's it, I saw it. There he is, he's coming on top. Oh, beautiful fish. Nice sickles on him. I know I'm gonna have to walk him back. I'm gonna have to walk him back. Oh, keep it tight, keep it tight. He's not. Cheech, I'm gonna get him to you. He's a nice fish. He's nice shaking fish. his head. Oh, he's saying God. no. We're saying yes, he's saying no. Oh, beautiful yellow fin, man. Now pull up. Pull up. Deliver him to me, Jimmy. Wait, 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 Cheech, wait. He's got him, he's got him. Hit him. Yes! Bring him in, get him in. 
<laughs> the GoPro assist. Nice job, Tim. Hell yeah. yes, dude. Let's go. All right, dude. Right. Needed it. Yellow fin, Yelly in the boat. Up and Yelly, baby. Right here, Chief. Nice. Dude, here we go. They've not made it easy on us, man. Just because they're they're not really showing. But there it is. It's that that popper we were talking about earlier. Wrap up, magnum right, explode popper. Right in the corner of the mouth. Jimmy, I can't wait to see the GoPro and oh. the tail being pushed in. All right, dude. Yes. With the ice officially broken and more signs of fish around us, the mood on board ratchets up. We continue to roll up to schools of yellowfin as they sip bait off the surface, vying for their attention with each pop. I'm out of gear until All we right. see him come up that, again. That's good. There they are. There they are. You see him, Cheech? Give me that rod, Jimmy. Get out of the way. About 40 yards, sir. I recommend the seven iron. Oh, Jesus. Nice right and there. easy. Nice and easy. Slow, slow, Chris. He's coming at me. He's waking. Pop it. Pause it. Pause it. You look at him out there. Go straight ahead, Cheech. Yep. Hang on. He's right there, Cheech. If you can go ahead, he's off at 11 o'clock. In him now. Morale has improved dramatically. Cheech, hold it there, Cheech, hold it there. Right here, right here. Sorry. No, you're good. He's right there, Cheech, he's right there. Oh, right here. Where? Right here. A uh, hundred yards. Let Just me move. Broke. It's coming this way. Oh Tied! Yeah, That's, That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. This fish right here. Chris, get in there. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Never holster the gun, Chris. He's not ready. I'm gonna hide the gap because he's hard. Jeez, he, he does not want to go into the death spiral. Yellowfin love that in tight game, man. Oh god. Jeez, <laughs> he's got a crazy fish. Did he? I think he's got a nutty one. Ready? Yeah, he's got a nutty one. Ready? Yep. Come on. All right to you. Right to you. Right to you. Oh, I got him. Got him? You guys, got your hand? I got him. He's coming right up. Whew. Nice job. Nice job, Cheech. That popping yellies is the best. Hold on, let me kill the engine. Do you go into the water? Yep. Yeah, we are hanging like a bleeding tuna off the deck. Okay, so let me come back here. So graceful. So we'd heard they were on baby hake, and, and there's what they are right there. I mean, just two inch long hake. You know, these will grow into, they, they could be ling or they could be white hake. Um, but man, this is what these yellowfin are sipping off the surface. That's why it's not real violent feeds we're seeing. It's almost just kind of heads and fins. But these fish, these big yellowfin tuna are eating these tiny baby hakes. So there must be a ton of them on the surface for them to be able to fill their bellies with it. Man, I think Cheech's was a little bigger. We should be able to fit the other one maybe this way. Right. 
two in the box. You like it or you want more? Uh, sit for a second. A little more? No, no, sit for a second. Where's okay. that, Chris? Yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, definitely throw in there. I think we're right in them, man. I think it's just a matter of time. All that nervous water with the uh, sheer water's eating, that's gotta be the hake in there. Yep, they're, they're breaking. Probably somebody else could reach them. They're Where right, beyond, right the past right? my popper. Right past my popper, the one just came up. Yeah! Who is that? Me. I'm a Shimano. I was looking, I wasn't even working. Jimmy, keep him away from the boat. Didn't let go. I think he was a little green when you ghost him. <laughs> Here he comes. Chris, stay right here. As we continued to look for tuna, we spotted a high flyer that held a small pack of big mahi. While smaller mahi can be hooked almost as fast as you can cast at them, the bigger ones can be maddeningly finicky, especially if they spot the boat before you can get a bait in front of them. Look at that. Come on, get it. Come on! That's a big mahi. Holy shit. There he goes. There he comes. There he goes. Look at the there size goes. of these three. He just saw it. He just saw it. He just saw it. Come oh, back. Oh my God. I'm going to throw it over his head. They circled the boat. All right, well, Mahi did not want the eel. They wanted no part of it. These Mahi refused jigs and even bait and basically flipped their middle fins at us, sending us back on our tuna hunt. I saw, I saw a big break right there. I'm gonna come straight ahead of you, Go Jimmy. Right. Oh, Jimmy! He missed it. I'm going right over it. That was a big fish. It was a very big fish. I might have been oh, a blue fish. Oh, nice cast, Chris. Nice what and easy. Oh he, oh, he trashed the popper. It's all. Oh, oh my God! That was Jack. Oh my God! That was so sick. I've never seen anything like that. Did that just happen? Jeez, I just did that small pole. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, he's coming in quick. All right. Move that. Oh, that was unbelievable. Just let me land this one, Jimmy. Where's the gap? Yep. He's right here. Where's the gap? Hold on, Cheech. Let me, let me, wait a minute, Cheech. He ain't ready, Cheech. He ain't ready. I got, him, I got him. 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 He ain't going anywhere. I'm gonna flip the bill. <laughs> he he must have seen that from like 50 feet down and just rocketed, dude. He hit that full speed going up. Oh my God. Oh, that was crazy. Oh. <laughs> Nice fish. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> Jeez. 
Awesome. Seeing that thing just launch out of the water. Oh, I needed that. Oh, oh that was amazing. Yellowfin tuna fishing guy, probably 30 miles south of Nolmans. And uh, it really doesn't, cheat. It really doesn't. This thing was caught 15, 20 minutes ago, and this heart is just sitting there feeding. With enough yellowfin on ice to share with our coworkers and families, we switched gears to Mahi, hitting some floating structure, but they were too busy avoiding being eaten to do much eating themselves. Oh, see that? Oh, these all just spooked big time. It's a predator in our mist. Yeah, look at that. Oh my oh. God. Hey, oh, oh. What's chasing them? Somebody What's chasing them? Out. I'm casting. What is it? What is it behind them? We're going to see it. Oh, wait, Marlin. Get, 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 get the eel. Get the eel. Get the eel. Hold on. Oh. I got that was get the eel. Get Did the eel. Did it just try to eat? I saw them start over there. They all went out of the water, and then they just came right around the circle. He chased them all around the whole thing. They haven't gone far. That white marlin hasn't gone far. There's probably multiple. Hooking up a white marlin would have been an unbelievable end to the trip we just had. We'll just have to leave conquering Whitey as something to shoot for next time. As we pointed the bow north for the two-hour ride home, the permanent smiles plastered across everyone's faces reflect the scenes from earlier, playing out like a movie in each one of our minds. As I replayed all the incredible sights we were treated to throughout the day, I realized that today's visuals lived up to those usually unrealistic expectations I play out in my mind while prepping for a tuna trip. The ones that get me so fired up that I can barely sleep the night before. Except today, it actually happened.